uh, dear Boris, hello. And uh, on behalf of the event organizer, I would like to thank you for the participation, for sharing your expert opinion, for the informative, amazing discussion. We highly appreciate your attendance to our events. Thank you, Victor. It was the first time I was at this event and I'm impressed. It was really good discussions, it was good content, but also, and I think that's very important for such events, that during breaks you can speak, you can speak openly, and it's, it's good. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Our pleasure for us from our side as well. Thank you, Boris. Um, I would like uh, to ask you a question that we could also share for our audience, for our clients. Uh, as an expert, could you share your opinion about the, let's say, perspective of the development of uh, the global south market from the airlines? I mean, uh, Turkey, uh, North Africa, the Middle East, the Central Asia. Or what kind of opportunities for this market can you uh, see and share with us? Well, um, it's a very, very diverse region you're talking about. You have airline hubs here in this region which are very well established and which are actually dictating the pace on where the industry is going. So we don't need to speak only about United Arab Emirates. There are also um, other carriers coming up in Saudi Arabia, for instance, with Riyadh coming up now. But here in Istanbul, in Turkey, of course, Turkish is a role model of how air services will look in the future. And they are, they are setting the pace, to be perfectly honest. So that's maybe on the upper end. The region also consists of numerous other countries, like all the Stan countries, and I think there we still see a very, very diverse picture. We have companies like an Air Astana, which are very modern, very much going ahead, and we have in other Stan countries, without mentioning a particular one, some that still have lots of room for development, um, which are still highly, highly regulated within their own countries, where um, we see really lots of developments but the good thing is that in these countries developments have started and we see also new entrants entering the market and I'm not only talking about all the fly Dubai's here I'm also talking again again about companies like an like an Air Arabia like Wizz Air which are really changing the model here as it is so a diverse picture a picture of front runners that are dictating the pace on where the airlines market is going but also lots of room for more airlines to grow, especially with the economic wealth growing in several countries. And population as well. And the population. And we spoke a lot about India today. Um, you, you see that companies like an Indigo, I mean, they're amazing how big they are, how they are growing. You see the transformation Air India has started. These are the futures of the market because also the fu future is in Asia when it comes to economical development. And maybe after the Asian future, there will be the African future, maybe the future of sub-Sahara Africa, because for achieving growth, you need to have the potential to grow. So you need to start at a relatively low base, but then you can grow. And I think that after the Asian growth, we will see a big, big African growth. Thank you very much for sharing your opinion. Thank you, Boris. Thank you very much as well, and I'm looking forward to the next event. Yeah. You are very welcome. Looking forward to meet you Thank again. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Thank you.